All right, here we go. 2006 playoffs. Colorado Rockies in it. Um, obviously a total different team from the Colorado Rockies in real life. This sim started in 1993. I've taken over as a Rockies. I do have import original rookies to their original teams for all the teams. So we got guys like Tulo, Ian Stewart. Obviously we had Helton a long time ago, like in 97 or whatever, signed him to a long-term deal. So he's been a stud. Uh, Ionetta, he's he's a uh, original Rocky. So is Sean Figgins, apparently, uh, which I never knew because he uh, got traded from the Rockies before making the bigs. But in this game, uh, he's been pretty solid for me. So this is my team. Joe Weaver's been good this year. I believe he was a uh, came up with the Rockies in real life. He never made the the bigs, of course. What is this? All levels. It's not showing. So does that? Oh, that's batting. That's why. Here we go. So he was um, okay. So he was with the uh, Rangers. It looks like. Um, so I maybe I must have traded for him in this game back when he was a prospect. But he's been good for me. He's my number one. Uh, 13 and 7, 439 ERA on the year. We're going against Scott Kennedy and the Strohs. They got Aubrey Huff. They got Jeff Bagwell, Lance Berkman. He's a stud center fielder, one of the best in this in this game right now. So this will be a tough team. Uh, Tony Durr, whatever you say it, he was a Rocky with me for quite a while. Um, and then I, I didn't keep him. He looks like his contact and gap power has gone way down, but he still has a good eye and uh, home run power. But had him in 96, came up as 23 years old. I believe in real life he was a uh, he was a Rocky. Yep, never made it out of single A. But um, he uh, was good in this game. He really developed. I mean, he was real good. Like, never a high average, but 31 or 21 triples. In 97, led the league. In 98, led the league in triples. 24, 28 homers. 36, 43 homers in 2001. Hit 270. He had a great year that year. Um, led the league in walks in 02 and, oh, and well, just 02 with the Rockies and the Cubs. Because uh, that's when I traded him, looks like. So, anyway, then that was his last year. He became a free agent, signed with Houston. He's been with them for four years. So that's the Strohs for you. Let's get rolling. We're going to start this game. I got my lineup set. Uh, I like to sim uh, the entire inning once in a while. But you know what? For the playoffs here, we're just going to go until runners in scoring position every time. So we're going to sim until – sometimes I go one at bat at a time um, if the pitcher spot's coming up. But it looks like they got one already on the board. Jeff Bagwell hitting a double. Scoring a run. Here's Aubrey Huff, base hit, scores Bagwell. So they're already up two. Hopefully we can get a few back. Ian Stewart with a solo jack. So it's two to one. We're on the second still at two to one. Weaver leading things off for us. Ooh, we got on base. Runners on first and second. Nobody out for Stewart. We're not going to bunt. He's a bad bunter, but he gets a hit. So the bases are loaded for Phillips. Strikes out. Here we got Helton, though, now. Grounds into a double play, so we got nothing out of it. Two outs for the Strohs. Runner on second for Dimmick, their catcher. We're not going to pitch around him with a base open. We're going right at him. We get him out. So fourth inning, three up, three down for us. Ooh, and Tony with a home run, a two-run homer. So they're up 4-1 now. Here's Bagwell. Can't pitch around him. He got Huff behind him. Two outs, runner on second. Base hit, and he's safe at home. So that's their fifth run. Jeff Weaver's due up. We're going to try to get one more batter. Maybe we even pitch around and we go after Reynolds. Yeah, Reynolds is hitting 180. Well, was hitting 180 on the season. We're going to pitch around Huff, and he grounds out. Okay, so that'll be it for Weaver. We're down 5-1. Here's Figgins. Reaches on an air, gets to second. Now it's time to pinch hit. Um, we're going to go with uh, – Corey Sullivan, our lefty. Ah, you know what? We're going to save him. He's our only lefty. We got a runner on second. We're going to go a high contact guy, Raj Davis. Sullivan is also a high contact guy. But uh, obviously, it's the fifth. We're going to have several more pinch hits here. Now, they're at six, seven, eight. 
They got righties coming up. Um, I think we're going to go with Jarrett Groove. He's been on fire uh, for the fifth. Maybe the – well, that'll be the top of the sixth. So here's Davis. Ground out to third. Nothing doing. Here's Tulo. Deep fly ball out of here. Home run Tulo. So 5-3 now. And nothing doing the rest of the inning. So we cut the lead to two. Uh, we're going to go with Groob in the sixth. We're going to face six, seven, eight. Hopefully that's it. Runner on second. Two outs for a pinch hitter. Patterson, the lefty, walks him. Now we're to Tony at the top of the order. Home run, three-run homer. That is a killer right there. So we're down five now. Three up, three down for us. We're in the seventh. They got Bagwell, Berkman, Huff. I think we'll go Casimir here, the lefty. So we turn Berkman around, Huff's a lefty. Two on, one out for Reynolds. Strikes him out. There's Dimmick, pass ball. Two outs, walks him. Need one more out here. Grounder to short. Got out of it. Okay, so we're at seven, eight, nine. We're down five. Hopefully we can get guys on. We don't there. Here's Figgins. Ground out. Now we're to the nine spot. Casimir, so we're going to pinch hit. They got a lefty pitching. We're going to go Sandy. Two outs, nobody on. So down five, coming into the top of the eighth. Who are we going to go with? I'm thinking Bernie. I mean, he had the best ERA, but not a lot of innings pitched. We'll see if he can, can do it. They're at 9-1-2. They got Johan Santana right now in. So here we go. Two outs. Nobody on. Hit him. If I pitch, here's too low. Strikes out. All right. We're going to go with uh, Bernie. Where is he? Here he is. We're going to go with Bernie. They do have a pinch hitter. They got lefty, lefty switch now. But he gets three up, three down. Great job. Six outs left. Here we're in the bottom of the eight. Three up, three down. Do we leave Bernie in here? They're at three, four, five. Switch righty, lefty. We could go Steve Grennan. We're going to let Bernie face one guy at a time. And that was a mistake. Home run, Berkman. Here's Bagwell, righty, righty. We're going to leave him in, fly out. And Aubrey Huff, the lefty. I suppose we, we might as well switch him here. Two on, two out. Here's Hidalgo strikes out. So we're down six. Down six in the ninth. Just need guys on. There we go. Double to start it off. Here's Ionetta. Just need him on. He's on. Here's Carl Everett. Safe beats it out. Bases are now loaded. Here's Figgins over three today. It's like they brought in a relief pitcher. Was it their closer? Durham said something about saves there. Let's see. Yeah, 32 saves on the year. Chad Durham, 349 ERA. Gets the first out. Here's the pitcher spot. Now we're going to go Sullivan. It's him or Sosa on the bench. We're going to go Sullivan. Bases loaded, one out. Just need guys on. Grounds out. We get a run in, but uh, we, they take an out. They'll trade that all day. Here's Tulo. Need him on. Rips it into the gap. Scores a run. So we're down four. We got the tying run on deck. Here's Ian Stewart. Need him on base. Grounds out. So we lose 9-5. Pitching, obviously, was uh, was the killer there. Big three-run home run by Tony Dermenzi, or however you say his name. Weaver started the game well and, and then had that bad inning or two, uh, especially right before he came out. And then Groob giving up that three-run homer. So we lose game one to the Strohs. Next game at home next day. So we're going to jump right into that. Remember, this is a uh, five-game series. First round of the playoffs here. Let's take a look at the playoff tree real quick as well. So here we go. Playoff tree. Yankees and Jays are tied. Rangers are up 2-0 over Kansas City. And then Giants up one on the Mets. So hopefully we can tie it up here. This best of five makes you nervous if you go down too early. Even more than in a best of seven. So they got a righty. They got Jose Mesa going. He was a 16-game winner. Wow. Um, we're going to put Phillips in for Davis, of course. 
Um, I think that's it. That's about it. Um, and we're going to go with our basic lineup here. We might go Everett hitting in the two spot. He's got speed. I like uh, Phillips three, Ionetta Stewart Figgins. Okay. Uh, we're going to start Mike Mussina. He's been a gamer for us. He's 37. We picked him up from Chicago this year. He wasn't having a great year with Chicago, but he had a 15 games, 15 wins the year before with Baltimore and a 380 ERA. So I thought, I don't think he's done yet. And uh, he's he was pretty good for us. 447 ERA for the Rockies at pitching at Coors Field. Pretty good. So we got him going. He's a big, big name guy for us. Um, Jeff Weaver's been on fire. So he might go next, or I really like Miller. He had under a five ERA. He was injured most of the year, but both those guys are, are pretty decent. So um, who else was in our starting rotation? Crockett was, but he's he's in the pen now. We're going with a four-man rotation. Okay, here we go. Our lineup is set. We got Musina going. Their lineup looks basic. I think it's exactly the same as well. So uh, hopefully we can get on him early here, get on Jose Mesa. Mike Mussina, five ERA with us and the Cubs combined, 10 wins. So let's start it off here. Top of the first, Berkman goes deep, gets him on the board for a solo shot. Nothing doing for us. Here's uh, Dimmick up, flies out. Hidalgo up with a runner on second, strikes out. So the pitcher's leading off the next inning for them. Mussina up with two outs, base hit. We're going to send him. And he's in there. Ionette is in there, so he ties the game. Mike Mussina with a base hit. Walked him loaded for Everett with two outs. Base hit into left, scores a run. Here's Phillips. Base hit into right, scores a run. Very shallow. Tulo is slow, and Hidalgo has a great arm. We're not going to send him. We got a nice rally going here. We're not going to risk ending it. Now Helton is up, especially. Rips it into center. Everett's fast. We're going to send him. That ball looked deep. He's safe. Five to one. Big time difference from yesterday. Here's James. Rips it into the left center gap. That's going to score one. Six to one. This has all been this inning. Ionetta rips it down the right field line to score two. Eight to one. Here's Stewart with two outs. This has all been with two outs. What a rally. I think all of it was with two. Most of it was. Wow. So they're they're pulling Jose Mesa. Hunter Pence is in the pinch hit. Obviously, we're going to keep rolling with Musina. We got two on and one out. Deep fly ball to left, caught. Here's Bagwell, grounder to short, and the inning. So Figgins leading off for us in the third. Rips it into the gap for a double. We're going to bunt, of course, with Musina here. We get him over. Too low up. Bomb to left. Wow, we are just uh, rocking him right now. 10-1, to 1, a triple for Phillips. Ground out. Scores the run. Oh, that was Everett Phillips with the ground out. Three up, three down for them. We're in the fourth now. We're continuing to get runners in scoring position. Here's Stewart strikes out with a runner on third. Figgins, line drive to center. Nice play by them, diving play. Eight, nine, one for them in the, fit, in the uh, fifth. One out, one on for Tony. He walks. You hate to see walks when you're up 10. There's a fly out to right for the second out. Berkman up with two outs, two on, ground out. Great job, Musina. He's at 84 pitches. We're going to leave him in. Line drive to right, caught. Here's Phillips, strikes out, ends the inning. So they're at four, five, six. Moussin is going to keep rolling. Gets through the inning with nothing doing. Helton with a leadoff double for us in the sixth. Fly out, Brennan James. Here's Ionetta, ground out to short. And uh, 12 to one now for us. We get that run in, apparently. Burke went up with two outs, two on, fly out to right. So Figgins, the eight hole leading off in the seventh. Little fly out there. Musina's at 111 pitches with this kind of lead. I think we're going to go to the pen like a low leverage guy. Pitch. We just need six more outs, and then we can get somebody in at bat. Sosa hasn't had an at bat. Um, I think we'll go to him. Just get try to you know keep these guys sharp here in the playoffs, and then uh, they're at four, five, six. Uh, Bagwell, Huff, Reynolds. And I think like Mo Christmas, long relief guy, one of my higher ERAs, 
or Crockett. They like him as a setup role, but he was a starter for us. I might, uh, I think we'll go with Christmas. I think we're going to go with Christmas. So here we go. Let's finish the inning. Nothing, no more runs. Not surprisingly, we've got a big lead here. So we're going to go Christmas to face the heart of their order. Three up, three down. Great job. Ionetta up, walks, two outs, guys on the corners, base hit by Stewart. Here's Figgins. We're up 13-1. Figgins rips it in the corner for a triple. 15-1. Here's Christmas. We'll pinch hit. We'll get some guys innings. We might even take – we're going to take too low out for Raj Davis, who can play a good second base. Just give him a little rest. Um We'll go Sandy in, and then we're also, since Everett's been a little hurt, it's minimal one day, but we're going to sub him out too. So he'll be in center. He's just a straight-up pinch hitter. Might leave him in and take Ionette out. Davis going to be at second base. So in the top of the ninth, we're going to go with Crockett. Ground out to second. Okay, so we're going to go Crockett now. We're going to leave Sandy in at catcher. We're up 15-1 to one in the ninth year. Got it in the bag. Let's just finish it quick, and we do. All right, 18 hits. Big win there for us. Coming back with a vengeance. Too low, three hits. Ionetta, three hits. Figgins, three hits. Great job by Messina. One earned run. Three walks, seven Ks. Coming through big time. We got a day off now, and then we're at Houston. Tied at one. So we got, looks like they got Ben Sheets going. At least that's the projection. Oh, and that switched up now. They got a lefty that's blocking it. I can't see who it is, but we'll see in a minute. Here's a playoff tree. Jays up 2 1 on the Yanks. Jays were the uh, wild card team. Uh, Rangers up 2 1 on Kansas City. Let's go back to standings here. Yeah, Jays, the wild card team. Yankees were 102 wins. They were the best team in baseball, win-wise at least. Giants and Mets tied at one just like us. Okay, so it looks like they got Marshall going now. Sean Marshall, 14 and 9. Man, they had good pitching. Three ERA. We're going to keep Phillips in. He's a stud. I mean, everyone was a stud last game. He's going to play left. James will be in right. Everett's going to stay in center. Um, I like that right there. Figgins, uh, Figgins at second. He's better at second. Tulo at short. Tulo's going to lead off. Helton cleanup. James fifth. I ain't at a sixth. Um, I think Everett in the two spots still. Go Phillips three. Stewart Figgins. There we go. We got Justin Miller going. Okay, I like that. We'll keep that. Weaver will go the next day. Uh, here we go. Miller was hurt most of the year, but uh, ended up 6-3, and three, 478 ERA. So top of the first, let's start it hot. We do Tulo with a double. Everett ripping it to center, taking the lead 1-0. Here's Phillips, ground up to short. Helton, deep fly ball, that'll get him in. Take a 2-0 lead. Miller facing the top of their order. They got a runner on second, one out, deep fly to right. That'll tag him the third for the second out. Jeff Bagwell up, pop up foul. Got it. Nothing doing for us, nothing doing for them. Back to the top of the order for us in the third. Phillips with a double to score a run. Helton strikes out. We're up 3 nothing. James uh, out there. Bottom three, they're at pitcher leading off. We got him out, but Tony gets the second. Ground out there, Zobris. Here's Berkman. Do you pitch around him? I don't, we don't because Bagwell's up. There's two outs. Got him. Berkman is on fire, but we got him. So six, seven, eight, three up, three down for us. They're at four, five, six, two on, nobody out. Strikes out Reynolds. Here's Dimmick. Base hit in the center. That's going to score a run. Here's a Abreu now pinch hitting. Fly line drive to right. Doesn't get the run over. Now they're at the pitcher spot. They're going to leave Marshall in. In the fourth here, he's at 70 pitches. Rips it deep to left, but we catch it. So top of the fifth, nothing doing for us. Three up, three down there at the top of their order. Nothing doing for them. We're at three, four, five in the sixth. We got two on, nobody out. James strikes out. Here's Ionetta, line drive to left. 
Here's Stewart. Walk. So bases loaded, two outs for Figgins. Ground out to first. That would have been nice to, to cash in some more. We're still up two. We're in the sixth. Miller at 86 pitches. Aubrey Huff leading off three up, three down. Miller at 99 pitches now. He's been doing great. He is leading off the inning. If we go to the bottom of the seventh, our pen is very fresh. We can go like Gower in the ninth or the eighth, Duvall in the ninth or eighth, and then uh, Lundberg's been good. He's at 100%. I think we're going to pinch hit. Great job, Miller. We're going to try to get some more runs here. Uh, we want you know our leadoff guy on. Um, I think we're going to go, what, Davis maybe? Hitting two, he hit 254 this year. Saying he was 252, lower on base percentage. Not by a whole lot. But we're going to go Davis. Runner on second, Everett on second with two outs for Phillips. Ground out to third. Oh, he reached on an error. Runner's on the corners now. Now he can steal. They got a lefty in who's excellent at holding runners. So two outs. Uh, Helton is up. We're not going to steal. See if he can get a hit. Ground out to third. Okay, so we're going to go Lundberg now. We're up 3-1. Well, although they have they have Abreu, lefty, and then they got Tony, lefty, uh, the pitcher spot. So we might save Lundberg till next inning. Then he'll he'll face Bagwell, the righty. So we're going to go with our best guy, Duvall, right now. Best reliever, the lefty. Uh, so two on, two outs for Berkman, the switch hitter. We're going to leave him in, walks him. Now Bagwell is up. He's our best guy. I think I think we got to leave him in. I don't want to go to uh, Lundberg yet. We'll go to Lundberg next inning potentially ground ball the third got him nice job getting out of that here's james leading off for us in the fifth home run stewart with two outs so that gives us an insurance run another insurance run there's a single by figgins so now juval the pitcher is up we're gonna pinch hit with uh sandy he's got a little pop maybe he can rip one he's got decent gap power i believe he can rip one to the gap maybe score the run Bottom of the eighth now. They have a lefty, Aubrey Huff, leading off. Then Reynolds, a righty. Um, I think I'm going to save Gower for the ninth. Yeah, and that'll be when their top there is coming up. So we're going to go with Lundberg. He's got a 404, had a 404 ERA during the regular season. One of my best relievers. We're going to go to him. Here's Sandy, base hit into right. That gets runners to the corners. How's Burns at holding runners? He's okay. Two outs, we're not going to risk it. We got two low up. Base it up the middle, another run. Guys going to first and third. Here's Everett with two outs. Ground ball to second. That's an out. So we take the lead five to one now. We're going to go with Lundberg still. Even though it's a, more of a comfortable lead, we got to get this win. Bomb looks like by uh, Mark Reynolds. So five to two, then we get out of it. Top of the ninth, can we get some more? Runners on first and second. Nobody out after an intentional walk to help. And there's a ground out James. Ionetta walks. Bases are loaded. One out for Stewart. Fly ball deep to right. That gets the run in. Here's Figgins with two outs. Liner to left. Doesn't score the run. Lundberg up now. Bases loaded. Two outs. Obviously, we're going to pinch it. Sullivan is a lefty on the bench. He's one of our top bench players. Up six to two. If it's still six to two, we're going to go Gower. If we get more, we might go to somebody else, maybe Bernie, maybe Steve. I think we'll go to Steve Grennan with uh, the top of the order, lefties and switch hitters coming up. And a single to right, scores a run, 7-2. So Here's Tulo, strikes out. So we're up five. They got Hunter Pence, pinch hitting, pinch hitting Pence hitting. Hunter, Hunter Pence, Pence hitting. We're going to go with a righty against him right away so we're gonna go bernie to face just one bat ground out to third good job now we got a lefty up we're going to make a pitching change here uh you know i think even though it's seven two up five i think we're still gonna go gower you know what i i think we can go Grennan. actually i'd like to save gower for tomorrow i think we can get away we just need two more outs and we get it so great job 13 hits we take a 2-1 lead. Tulo, another three-hit game, multi-hit game. Everett Phillips with multiple hits. 
And as always, for us to win, you need decent pitching. We had great pitching. Miller giving up one run, three walks, three Ks, and great job by the pen. Lundberg, the only blemish, gave up a solo shot, I believe it was. Yeah, one hit, one homer. So now we are uh, game four at Houston. Then we do have a day off. So certainly we can go to our closer if needed, even if it's not a closed situation. Looks like Jays upset the Yankees. So they'll be moving on. Rangers beating the Royals. And then Giants also taking a 2-1 lead over the Mets. So uh, Giants and us, the Rockies, going for trying to clinch here, going for the next round. Will a game five be pushed? We will see. Corey Sullivan's hot. Phillips, he did just have a, a multi-hit game. We're going to go with Sully the lefty. Um, and that's going to be it for changes. We're going to have Tulo leading off. I like Everett in the two spot. He's OPS in 1,000 here in the playoffs. Helton's been struggling, but that's okay. Um, I think we'll go Stewart hitting third. We will have three lefties in a row. No problem, though. Sullivan, eight. Figgins, nine. I like it. Jeff Weaver going. Been on fire. We'll see if we can uh, clinch right here. If not, tomorrow, well, the next day after tomorrow, we got Joe Weaver going. He did have a rough outing his first game, but he's been our top guy all year. I would like to maybe go Mucina. I don't know if he, uh, if we make it that far. I don't know if he'll be ready yet, though. Okay, here we go. Hopefully we don't get to that point. Too low leadoff double to start the game. Everett gets him over on a ground out. Stewart grounds out but gets him in. So that'll finish it. They got two on, nobody out for Berkman. Walks. Bases are loaded for Bagwell, nobody out. Fly ball to center. Gets in the sack fly. Here's Huff. Double play. So really, when all said and done, we'll just take one out of that. We'll take it. They're at six, seven, eight. Runner on one. Fly out to center. Here's the pitcher spot. Ben Sheets ground out to third. So we're at eight, nine, one now in the third. Figgins ground out. Nothing doing for us. Nothing doing for them. Three up, three down. Here's three, four, five for us. All the lefties, three up, three down. Three up, three down for them. Now we're in the fifth. Six, seven, eight. Ionetta with a leadoff double. Sullivan fly out to left. Here's Figgins. Line drive down the line. That's going to score him. So we take the lead. One out. Weaver is an outstanding bunner. We're going to bunt here, get him over. And they make an error. So he scores, and Weaver gets the second. Wow, that's costly. Three to one now. Too low, home run, 5-1 us. Everett's on second with Helton up. He strikes out. He's been having a rough playoff so far. But the team's been picking him up. 5-1 here in the fifth. Runner on second, Hunter Pence, pinch hitting. Liner up the middle. It gets by us in the outfield. So they score a run. Pence gets the second. There's a fly ball out to left. Here's Zobrist. Bloops it in for another run. So they've gotten two so far. Here's Berkman, the tying run, but uh, nothing doing. So 5-3 us in the sixth. Weaver's at 69 pitches. They're at 4-5-6. We're going to leave him up. Leave him in. He's coming up next inning. Oh, Aubrey Huff with a two-run shot. They tie the game. Uh, that might be it for Weaver. Here's a Breu, a lefty, nobody out. I think we're going to go with Grennan. I know he just pitched yesterday. You know what? We might go We might go Casimir. They're pinch hitting. They're at 6, 7, 8. We're going to go Casimir. And he gets out of it. So that's going to be it for him. He pitched one inning. Figgins ground out. They got a lefty in, so we're going to go. Uh, I like Phillips here. He's our best guy right now. There's one out, nobody on. Let's see what he does. He strikes out. So when we got Tulo up now, when we get to the bottom of the seventh, they're at the top of their order. They got a lefty switch switch. That might be time to go Gower. Maybe we even get two innings out of him. We're going to do that. I mean, that's the time to, you know, that's, High leverage situation here, basically. And Tulo flies out. So we're going to go with our closer, Gower, in the nine spot. We got our two hitter coming up next to him. Uh, 
got out of it. No one in scoring position. Here's two, three, four for us. Everett with a leadoff double. Here's Stewart strikes out. Helton walks intentionally, even though he's 0 for 3 today and struggling in the playoffs. So one out. Runners on first and second. Brandon James strikes out. Ionetta, who's on fire, walks. Bases loaded, two outs for Sullivan. I put Sully in to uh, for today. They got a, a right-handed pitcher up. Let's see if he can come through. They make an error first, and they score. We score a run. Helton to third. So we take the lead. So we're going to the bottom of the eighth after this. Hopefully we can get more. But we're going to leave Gower in potentially here. Here's our eight-hitter strikes out, Figgins. Gower, he's thrown 17 pitches. We're going to let him face Huff. Probably just one more guy. They're shifting him. Fly out to right. Okay. He only threw one pitch there. They got a lefty pinch hitter, so we're going to leave him in one more at least. Line drive down the line. That gets him to second. I think that'll be it for Gower. He's at 26 pitches. They do have a switch hitter up. Um, Lundberg just threw yesterday, but he's been good. Uh, maybe even Bernie. I mean, he's he was he's been really good, but just not a lot of innings. Not a big strikeout guy either. Uh, we could go Steve as well. Turn gimmick around to the right side. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go Steve Grennan. Walks him. Here's Hidalgo. Ground out. Didn't get the double play. Got the out at two. Now they got a lefty Robles pinch hitting. Runners on the corners. We're going right at him. Strikes him out. Big strike out there. Now Grennan leading off, so we're going to pinch hit. We're going to go with Raj. Other two guys are more, more extra base hit guys, kind of power guys. Hopefully Raj can get on. And then in the ninth, they're at the top of the order. Do we go Duval, even though he just threw 23 pitches yesterday? I think so. And then if he gets into any trouble, we'll go to Lundberg. So we're going to go Duval and then Lundberg. Hopefully we can get some insurance. Rajai Davis lead off double. Tulo gets him over, or it could have been a single steal. Everett strikes out. Here's Stewart with two outs. We can't cash him in. All right. Well, here we go. Duval. Duval going to come in. Oh, they got a righty now. Pinch hitting. So, you know, I think, and then they got switch, switch. I think we're going to go Lundberg. I think I like Lundberg, who's fresher since they have uh, a righty leading off. Ooh, they got Bagwell up now. Guys on first and second, one out. Fly out to right. Aubrey Huff now, the lefty. So, do we, I think we bring in our lefty now, Duvall. We're going to do it. Face Huff, the lefty. He's on fire, Duvall is, and rips a walk off to right field. Wow. So we're going to game five, unfortunately. That was a heartbreaker. Down to our final out to clinch. And we got a game five. It's going to be back at home. Uh, let's see where everyone else is. Giants move on, so we're the only game five here. Rollins now eligible. I don't think I can move him over yet. I can put him onto the active roster, but I think he has to wait until the next series. Let's see what it tells me. Yeah, not allowed in the middle of the playoff series. Okay, well, hopefully Rollins will be able to sniff the playoffs here um, if we can move on. So we're going to go Phillips this time. Uh, we're going to have Tulo leading off. He's been great there. I think we're going to move Helton to fifth. James, he's been struggling too. But those guys are both big sluggers. They got a righty going, so I'm okay with three lefties in a row. Maybe even we'll we'll break it up. We'll go two lefties in a row. Ionetta, I like Everett hitting two, so Stewart will be seven. And then Figgins. So that's how it's going to be. Ooh, Musina is ready. I like him. I mean, Weaver just didn't have a great game the first time Musina did. We're going to go with Musina, just a veteran, 37 years old. He's meant for this. We're at home. Here we go. Their lineup is basically the same as well. Down to a game five. All right. Let's start off hot, guys. Uh, they got one out, runner on second. Uh, ground out to the pitcher. Here's Bagwell up. 
what a play bar shortstop. And uh, that's actually Figgins. So I, uh, I think Tulo is better there. I forgot to make that switch, but great play there by Figgins. So there we go. All right. Top of the order for us. James up. Can he get going? He pops up. Here's Helton. He's just been popping up. Helton rips it in the left field gap. That's huge. A triple for Helton. Two runs. Nice having him come along. And Ionetta, another gapper, another triple. Back-to-back -back triples for the Rockies. Ian Stewart rips it in the right center gap. Another run. Wow, we are coming out guns a-blazing. They just pulled Kennedy. They're already in the pen in the first. Here's Figgins strikes out to end the inning. So Musina with a four-run lead gets three up, three down there. Three up, three down for us. Eight, nine, one, three up, three down. There's James on second with Helton up. Fly out to center. Two outs. Ionetta walks. Ian Stewart, line drive, cop, dove, caught by the second baseman. Two, three, four for them. Three up, three down. Great job, Musina so far. Figgins walks. We're going to bunt. Musina, not a good bunter. Well, he's a 40. He's not that bad. He gets it down, gets him over. Here's too low. Fly out to right. That's going to get him over. Two outs, runner on third for Everett. Bloops it in for a base hit. Now, Everett can steal. They got Jose Mesa in. He's a little below average at holding runners. We got two outs. We're going to do it. They're throwing over a couple times. Here he goes, and he's in there. So two outs, Phillips. Everett on second, deep fly to center, but it's caught. So five nothing us. Mucina is going to keep rolling. He gets gets through with no runners in scoring position again. Here's Ionetta fly out to center with a runner on second. Stewart up, foul ball, but it's dropped in air and right field. Two out still, and he strikes out. So nine one two for them. They're leaving Mesa in in the six down five nothing. Mucina three up three down. Wow. He's just rolling. It's the sixth inning. Bottom of the six, he's at 83 pitches. We got to leave him in. We're going to leave him in. They're at three, four, five. They get a runner to second. Here's Reynolds up with two outs, strikes him out. Two, three, four for us. Nothing doing. We're in the top of the eighth. He's at 102 pitches. They're at seven, eight, nine. We got to leave him in. Three up, three down again. Bottom of the eighth here for us. We got six, seven, eight. One out, two outs. Here's Figgins. Three outs. So Musina, 119 pitches. He's not even close to the red. He's in the middle of the yellow. They are at the top of their order. I think we got to run him out there. And then uh, we'll go to like Duval or Gower. Probably Duval. He's been better. I know Gower's our closer, but we'll go to Duval if he gets into trouble. We're going to let him roll. And he rolls a complete game shutout. Mike Musina. Nice acquisition for us. This makes me want to re-sign him. He's in his final contract here. He's 37, and he wasn't doing great when I traded for him with the, from the Cubs, but uh, stepped it up. Big game pitcher. What He's got a .56 ERA in the playoffs. Wow. And I'm sure he's going to want more money now. Let's look at upcoming free agents. Here he is. He wants five mil. Um, but, I mean, his ratings are still good. Let's see how many years he wants. He wants a four-year deal. That's definitely not happening until he's 42 or 41. I was thinking like a one- to two-year deal, maybe the second year as an opt-out, as like a team option or even a vesting option. I think we'll go – how about a vesting option? Um, they want to do games started. Uh, let's see. What's, what's he at here? What's, how many games did he start this year? between both teams. So between us and the Cubs, games started, um, where are we at here? 19 and 14. So what's that? 33? 33 games started. And uh, so, yeah, that's about what he's been at, 36. So I think if he got like 30 games started, that's fair. We could even give him more leeway. Like – 28 or something let's go vesting option game started you need 28 for us to honor your second year we have plenty of money for extensions and we're in the playoffs making money now so i'm i'm good doing it um six mil 
I mean, we, we might have to go high this first year because we're lowering the years. So I'll give him like 6.5. And then second year, let's go like 4.7. See if he'll do that. I mean, he's 37 already, 4.6 even. Let's see if, if he's okay with this. He says it sounds reasonable. Great. We're going to submit it. Okay. So we're moving on now. Moving on to the NLCS against the Giants. Big win for us there. We're going to have Weaver starting off. We'll finish day one. Texas taking the lead in the AL. We are looking to do the same. So here we go. Starting at home. Going to have to uh, organize our lineup. We like too low leading off. Um, Everett hit two. Good to see Helton get a hit last game. Hopefully he's coming on. Um, I think I had at a three. Then we'll go Phillips, Stewart, Figgins. Joe Weaver starting off. All right, give him another shot. Get him rolling. Hopefully we're going to need him rolling if we keep making it. Tim Linscom, I think he's a rookie for them. 15 and eight with a 354 ERA. Had a great year. Might even be rookie of the year. He's on fire right now. Yep, he's a rookie. 22 years old, started off in triple A. 12 innings, and they brought him right up. Hopefully he's not ready for the big stage. Fly out here, two outs with Griggs on for them. Walk. Weaver against Canerco, base it up the middle. They score him. And a pop-up to left or to third. So they get one out of it. Uh, we got Everett on second for Ionetta. Fly out to right, not deep enough to get him over. Here's Helton. Base hit into center. We're going to send him, and he's in there. Everett scores, so ties it up. Here's James. He gets out. 7 8 9 for them. Nothing doing. 6 7 8. Nothing doing for us. Juan Gonzalez up now with Tejada on second. Rips it into right. We hold him. Stop him from scoring. Here's Griggs. Strikes out. Canerco now. We're going to go at him. Two outs. Runners on the corner. Rips it into the gap. That scores one, fortunately. Here's Hamilton. Rips it over the center fielder's head. That scores two. And we walk Lede. Man, Weaver struggling. That's his second walk and two and two thirds, giving up six hits. We're going to let him go. One more guy fly out to center. Got it. Now he's leading off. He's definitely done here. He's struggling in the playoffs. Well, he's only had two starts, but those two starts, he struggled. We're going to go Sullivan. We, we need runs. He's leading off. Uh, it's the third. So then coming into the top of the fourth, where are they at? They're going to be at nine and then one, two, three. We can go with a righty. I think Groove will go with. He's kind of a long relief type guy. He's listed at middle relief. But he's got good stamina. We'll go with Groove. And nothing doing for us. So Groove in to face nine, one, two in the fourth. Three up, three down. Great job. Three, four, five for us. Here we go. We got runners on second and third for Phillips with one out. Ground out, but scores the run. Here's Stewart. Rips it into the gap, and right center scores the run. So four to three. Now Figgins up with Stewart on second strikes out. So they're at three, four, five now. Groove only threw seven pitches. We'll let him go one guy at a time. Ground out, Juan Gonzalez. Here's Griggs. Uh, safe ground out, to the grounder to the pitcher, but beats it out. Here's Canerco. Walks. All right, now he might be getting... They got two lefties in a row. We're going to take him out. We're going to go with Grennan, the lefty. First and second, one out. Strikes him out. That's what he can do. He's got good stuff. Here's Ricky Lede. Grounder, the pitcher. He beats it out. Here's Chris Latham. Grounder up the middle for an infield hit. Now Linscombe, the pitcher, with a base loaded fly out to left. So they get another. So we're going to pinch hit now. Grennan in the nine spot. Um, we'll go Sandy, see if he can get something started. We're up, we're down two, coming up into the top of the sixth. They're at the top of their order. I think we'll go with Bernie, six, then like nine, eight, maybe Lundberg or somebody in, in the seventh, or maybe we can even stretch somebody else. So uh, lead off double by Sandy. Here's two low walks, guys on first and second, nobody out. Everett, base hit into left, base is loaded, nobody out. Ionetta, 
grounder uh, double play got him more than one. Here's Helton with two outs and fly out. Wow. So we get nothing out of that. Tough there. Tough there. Uh, we're going to go Bernie. 5-3 still. Solo Jack Tejada. Looks like we got one back. Solo Jack by Stewart. Here's Figgins fly out to end the inning. So 6-4. Um, Canerco and then two lefties. We'll let Brandon face Canerco, the righty righty. Fly out to center. Now we got two lefties. We'll go Casimir. Nothing doing. Great job. Now Casimir leading off. We're obviously going to pinch hit. We're down to Davis or Sosa. We'll go Davis. We're in the bottom of the seventh here. Uh, they got Sergio Romo in. The young Romo. And then they have the top of the order coming up. So we'll go Lundberg. Nothing doing for us. Hopefully Lundberg can keep us in it. We've had to use a lot of pen today. Some of our better guys, but both of our lefties have not been used. Three up, three down there. Here's Helton leading off. Three up, three down for us. We'll let him face Juan Gon, the righty. Righty, he hits him. Now they got Griggs, the lefty. I think we got to make a change. We're going to go Duvall, I suppose. I mean, he's our best guy. We're only down two. Ooh, Griggs with a double. So guys on second and third for Canerco rips it into the gap. 8-4 now. Nobody out. Guy on second base hit. Guys on the corners pop up to third. Strikeout. He's at 16 pitches. Here's a pinch hitter. Ground out to short. So we're down nine. We got, I mean, down to four in the ninth. We got seven, eight, nine. We start off with a leadoff jack. Ian Stewart. So cuts lead to three. Biggins gets on base. So the tying run is on deck. Down to our final pinch hitter. Going with no choice but Sosa. Hopefully he can get on base. Bring that tying run up. And he does with a, with a two-run jack to right center. Wow. So pitching change now. Not surprisingly for the Giants. Sean Kramer in. No saves on the season, but a 354 ERA. We're at the top of our order with nobody out. Tulo fly out to center. There's one. Here's Everett. Ripped into the gap, but it's caught. Nice play out there. Two outs for Ionetta. Ground out to short. So Giants eke, eke out the win. We tried coming back, but um, that two runs in the ninth that the Giants got really, really killed us. Everett with three hits. Stewart three for three. Big day for Stewart. And Weaver struggles again. Goes three innings. Um, and our pen wasn't great either. They weren't bad, but really the, the start is what killed us. So we're at home again. We lost game one. It's been, but we got the next day off. So we travel to San Fran. So we're going to keep our normal lineup here. Phillips, though, has been struggling. We're actually going to go with Sullivan. They got Hennessy, the righty. Sullivan will be down in the order. Figgins has been doing pretty well. We'll move him up to seventh. I like Everett, two still. Too low, Everett. Man, it'd be nice to have Helton be his regular self. Um, then the question is, do we go? Let's go. Let's go. Stewart. Uh, I mean, maybe we move James to sixth. Stewart, I a Helton, James. I'm good with that. These guys have been doing better than those guys as of late. So Justin Miller going to start. And then we got Weaver going after the day off. Uh, we might even be able to back bounce back to Messina with the day off. So. Who do we want between Weaver and Miller, between Jeff Weaver and Justin Miller? Uh, Miller pitched that great game, 150 ERA. Weaver kind of got rocked. We're going to go with Miller. Got to win this one. We don't want to go down two going to San Fran. So here we go, starting at the top of the first. Three up, three down. Too low with a leadoff double. Everett hit by pitch. Here's Stewart pop up to second. Ionetta now at cleanup, grounds into a double play. Lead off double by them. Canerco fly, pops out to the catcher, ground out to short there, Josh Hamilton, and Ricky Lede ground out. Helton with a solo jack, moved him to the five spot. 
coming through. Now we got a runner on second for Sullivan with one out. Ground out to third. Justin Miller, the pitcher, now strikes out. So we come out with one, three up, three down for them. Three up, three down for us. Three up, three down for them. Sean Figgins up with the runner on second. Two outs. Reaches on an error by the pitcher. Here's Corey Sullivan. Runners on the corners. Flies out to left. Six, seven, eight for them. Lead off double and a walk. So runners on second, first and second. Now an infield single. So Miller's got some work to do. The pitcher spot is up. Bases are loaded. Nobody out. Thought we'd have a double play there, but got the out at home. Here's Tejada. Double play up the middle. Wow. Great job. Miller's at 77 pitches. We're going to let him keep rolling. Tulo's on second for Everett. Deep fly to right. That'll get him over. Stewart up now. Jack to right field. Three nothing us. And Ionetta follows it up with a double. Here's Helton rips it over the right fielder's head for a triple. So we go up four nothing. James flies out to center to end the inning. So Miller only at 77 pitches, nothing doing there for them. No one in scoring position. Now we're in the six. We started off with Figgins, a leadoff double. Now I would bunt here, but Sullivan's not good at sack bunting. But he does get the runner over. Great job. Miller, we got to keep him in. Uh, we're going to just let him try to put something in play. He strikes out. Here's Tulo, rips it up the middle for a base hit, gives us another run. Uh, Mullen's great at holding runners here. We're not going to steal. Okay, now we got uh, six, seven, eight for them. Nothing doing. Great job by Miller. 107 pitches. We're going to let him keep rolling. They're at the top of the order. We got guys on the corners now. One out. We're going to do a mound visit. He says he can still pitch. Here's Griggs, the lefty up with guys on the corners. Walks him loaded. 123 pitches. This is probably... This will be his last inning for sure. It might be his last batter if they get a hit. Here's Canerco with the base loaded pop out. Foul the first. We got it. Here's Josh Hamilton. Walks him in. That's going to be it. That's got to be it. He's getting in the red. Ricky Lede, the lefty. Um, we're going to go Gower. High leverage situation here. You know what? We're going to go Duvall. He's on. He threw yesterday, but we just need one out from him. He's And he's better. Ground out to short. Great job, Duvall. Okay, so we're in the eighth. We're up four. Lead off for the Jack. Solo home run. Brandon James moving him to the sixth spot. Corey Sullivan ground out to short. So Duvall is now up. He threw two pitches. Um, we're going to go with Sosa. So now coming into the top of the ninth, we're up five. They're at eight, nine, one. And we're going to go with uh, – uh, Crockett hasn't really thrown. I'm comfortable going with him. Uh, and then if he gets into trouble, we can go Gower. Wasn't thrown for a while. So nothing doing there for Sosa. We're going to go Crockett. If he gets into any trouble, we'll go Gower. He doesn't. He ends the game. Great win there. For us, bouncing back. Tulo, another multi-hit game. Man, he's hitting 484. Ionetta and Helm and James, multi-hits. Those guys had jacks as well. Helm with a triple also. Helm with a triple and a home run. Stewart, James with home runs. And great start. Wow, great starting pitching. I mean, I knew obviously we shut him out. But seven and two-thirds, five walks, seven hits. He did allow a lot of guys on. But uh, came through when guys were on. Came through in those situations. 0.66 playoff ERA for Miller. It's Mussina numbers right there. All right, so we're tied at one. Let's see where the Jays and Rangers go. We're finishing today. Oh, yeah, you know what? Uh, I think we forgot to move. Okay, good. We got Mussina. We got Mussina. And I meant to – I don't think we can do it now. Get Rollins – under our playoff roster, we can't do it. Ah, that was my mistake. So what I'm going to do is put a little note here. Put a note for uh, if we do make it to the next round. I'll just can I can I make it remind me every day. Move Rollins to World Series roster. Enable remind me in let's see what's the minimum where it's tied at one. Tomorrow is today is off. So that would be, and then we got 
tomorrow. So that would be game three. And then, and that's like day three. So I'm going to just say, remind me in six days. Oops. Uh, move Rollins to roster. Remind me in six days. Okay. Here we go. Um, now, what were those messages here? Oh, is that, yeah, we got Musina. Fans were excited. I am too. Maybe I should have just left it till till after. But uh, it's a good deal. We got him for next year, and it's only a vesting option. So if he doesn't pan out, we just don't pitch him. And then he and then he doesn't go the next year. We don't pay him the next year. So it's basically a one-year deal with us in control for the second year. So we're gonna go Phillips in. Um, they want they want they're recommending Sosa. Phillips is only hitting 217. I'm good with that. Let's go Sosa in the right. I mean, he's he's only one for three, but he's done great when he gets in. So we're gonna do that. I like it. Um, Figgins been doing great. He's still gonna hit eight though. Everyone else has been pretty ridiculous. We're going to keep Helm five. James will move to clean up. I like Sosa sixth. Um, I guess Stewart's, Stewart's had five homers. I mean, I think I want him. There's They're stacking it with lefties, though. So maybe, maybe we keep him seventh. We go too low leading off. He's got 1.4 OPS in the playoffs here. Ridiculous. We'll go Everett. Ionetta maybe third. James Helton. I mean, I like Stewart third, but that's three lefties in a row. And all those guys, I mean, they can't – I don't want to move anyone down to six. James did hit six yesterday. Let's see how that looks. What if we do that here? Helton cleanup. Sosa fifth – or Ionetta fifth. James. Okay, I like that. We'll do that. We we'll go there. We got Musina going. I like that. Turn him over. Try to get him and Miller as many innings – as possible, as many starts as possible. Corey Moran going six and four with a 371 ERA. Okay, here we go. Three up, three down, and four up, three down for them. Another three up, three down. No one reaching scoring position. We got Figgins on second now. Too low, ground out, gets him over. Two outs for Everett, strikes out. Lucina rolling three up, three down. Another nothing doing for us. Two, three, four for them. They got two on, nobody out. Griggs fly out to center. There's one. Here's Canerco. And they double steal, or no, a single steal, I guess. They get over to third. Here's Canerco still. Fly ball to left, not deep enough. That's two outs. Josh Hamilton strikes out. We get out of it. So we're in the fifth now. Seven, eight, nine. Sosa walks. He can steal a little bit still. Moran's decent at holding runners. He is a lefty, of course. We're not going to do it. We're going to go Figgins with an at-bat. And he beats it out to not be in a double play. Uh, now Mussina's up. We're going to bunt him over. He's at 47 pitches in the fifth, doing great. He's at one, two. I guess we'll let him swing with two strikes. Maybe get something in play. And he grounds into a double play. That was a bad decision. Okay, here we go. Seven, eight, nine for them. Two on. Nobody out. Strikes out the pitcher. Here's Tejada. Fly ball to right. Not deep enough to get him in. Now here's Victor Martinez. Grounder to first. Gets out of it. Top of the order for us in the six. Three up, three down. They're at three, four, five. Another inning with two on. Nobody out. Here's Canerco. Deep fly to center. Not deep enough to tag him. Here's Hamilton. Pop up to the pitcher's mound. That's two outs. Here's Ricky Lede. Ground out to second. Wow, Giants have left a lot of guys in scoring position. Um, looks like they have a uh, relief pitcher now, Sergio Romo. We're at four, five, six. Helton leadoff double. Here's Ionetta deep to left. It doesn't get out, but it gets Helton over. Here's James. Rips it down the line for a triple. Scores Helton. So we take a one nothing lead. Here's Sosa. They're going to intentionally walk him to get to Figgins, who's one for two today. Hitting 300 in the playoffs. And a wild pitch scores him. So runner on two with one out. Strikes him out. Musina, I think we're going to leave him, him in there at 8-9-1. Once they turn that over, we'll, we'll be ready to pull him out. But he's only at 78 pitches. We're going to leave him in. Maybe he can. No, nah, he can't. I was going to say, maybe he can get a base hit. Strikes out. Here's 8-9-1. Ooh, home run by Tejada. So they get one back. There's two outs. 
Victor Martinez, one for three today, hitting 240. We're going to let him face one more guy, line out to second. All right, so top of the order for us now in the eighth. Stewart on second, two outs for Helton. Walks. Here's Ionetta. Hit by pitch. Bases are loaded now with two outs. Edwin Corpse is in. Brennan James, deep fly out to left. So bottom of the eighth, I think. I think that's going to be it. Musin has been doing great. He's just had so many guys on base. You can't keep playing with fire. They got Juan Gonzalez and then a lefty Griggs and then righty Canerco. Um, I still like our best guys like Duvall and then Gower. We're going to go Gower first. No, uh, you know what? I think we're going to go Duvall first. He's better. They're at three, four, five. Got out of it. No one in scoring position. So here's seven, eight, nine for us. Sammy Sosa with a jack. Good call. Putting him in the lineup. Figgins grounds out. Here's Javal up now. We're going to go Sullivan. They got a righty. We'll go with a lefty. And then we're definitely going to use Gower in the ninth. So here's Everett runner on second. Pops up foul. That's the inning. And they're at seven, eight, nine. We're bringing Gower in for the save. See if he can get it. Lead off double for them. There's a strikeout. There's Richardson pinch hitting strikeout. Tejada strikeout. Nice win, guys. Big time, uh, big time finish there by Gower after a little adversity with the double striking guys out. Only five hits for us, but they were timely. We've seen a great job of point seven eight ERA in the playoffs. Wow. Duvall with the hold. Gower striking out the side for the save. So two to one us. Let's go back to the playoff tree here. Nice three one win. So Jays are already up three run over the Rangers. We're going to game four here again at San Fran. We got two more at San Fran. I saw Linscombe's going tomorrow. They got C.J. Wilson going today. Um, hasn't started. Oh, no, he has. I was going to say hasn't started in the playoffs because I saw the zero ERA, but he had a, a win and didn't give up a run. So uh, did really well. Okay, I think uh, I think we'll keep going with – well, you know, Sosa, man. I think we got to leave Sosa in there. It's OPS in over 2,000. Granted, only five at-bats. We're going to go Figgins eighth. I think Sosa seventh again. They have another lefty. We might do um, a similar type lefty deal. James is hitting way better though now. I'm going to move Helton up to the three spot. I think three uh, with sabermetrics, the three spot is actually a little overrated because oftentimes you come up with two on and, and nobody out in first. So you don't want it to be your best guy per se. But obviously, you're giving up one spot. You know, when the lineup turns over, he's coming up. But uh, four, they say one, four for your best hitters. One, four, then two, then five, then three. So I like this here. We're going to keep that. We got Jeff Weaver going. Unless we wanted to go Joe, which he had, he's been struggling. So we don't want to go with him on short rest. He's going to have to go tomorrow, I think, though. Hopefully he can redeem himself. We're going to, it'd be nice to get him going. So here we go. Top of the first. Helton fly out to right. Runner on second. Two outs. James rips a ground ball to first. That's an out. Three up, three down for them. Nothing doing for us. Here's Ricky Lede. No, no double play. Runners on the corners. Two outs. Strikes him out. Nice job by Weaver. Three up, three down for us. Runners on the corners. Two outs for them. Griggs grounder to short. Got him. And nothing doing for us. Runner on second, two outs, Chris Latham. Wild pitch moves him over. Do we pitch around him? He's been hot playoffs. It's 2-2, two -two, though. We're going to go pitch by pitch here. And we're going to pitch around at 2-2. Two -two. What happened here? Foul ball. Okay, nothing, just foul ball. We're going to pitch around again. And he lines out to left. All right. Okay, we're going to remove that pitch by pitch. Here we go, 7-8-9. Sosa ripping it into the gap. That's a leadoff double. Figgins can kind of, he's not great at second, but we're going to try it, though. He gets it down. I know that got to Weaver, but what we're going to do now is a safety squeeze. 
So it doesn't always work. Sometimes it works. And it does. The, the runner has to make a good read. Sosa's a good base runner. He scores. So we get one. Here's eight. Here's nine, one, two for them. They got one gone up. Guys in the corners, one out. Base hit through the five, six while they tie it up. They steal third. Here's Griggs up. Deep fly to right. That's going to get him in. So they take the lead. We're at three, four, five. Nothing doing for us. Nothing doing now for them. We're in the top of the seventh. Down 2-1. Stewart strikes out. Sosa ground out to short. Figgins walks. So now we're at the pitcher spot. Two outs. This is a tough decision here. He's at 87 pitches. We do have the day off tomorrow, so we can use our pen. They're at, coming up to the top of the order. I'm good pinch hitting here. Great job by Jeff Weaver. We just we got to get some runs going. This would be a different situation if we had a lead. We're going to go Dan Phillips with his gap power, see if he can uh, get that run scored. And then coming into the bottom of the seventh, we're going to go with Lundberg, one of our better guys. Here we go. Ground out to short, so nothing doing. Okay, so we're going to go Lundberg here. And great job, Lundberg. Top of the order for us now in the eighth. Nothing doing. Now they got lefty, righty, lefty. Um, Steve Grennan's been good. We're going to go to him. Bottom of the eighth. They got two on, two out. Strikes him out to end the inning. So here we go. Top of the ninth. Last chance for us. Four, five, six. Here's Brennan James strikes out. One down. Here's Ionetta. Deep fly ball to right, but that's caught. Down to our final out, Ian Stewart. Can he get on? He strikes out. So San Fran coming back, ties it at two. And uh, now we got uh, one more game in San Fran before coming home. So series tied at two. Joe Weaver is who we got to go with here. Hopefully he can redeem himself. He's got a 10-12 ERA in the uh, in the playoffs here. They got Tim Lentz come going. I think I like keeping Sosa in there. I mean, he's still doing well. He's four for eight. He's hot. We're going to go with him in the seven hole still. Figgins eight. You know, Ionetta six. We can kind of stack these lefties. Um, I think I like Helton saying fifth. I mean, uh, third. James cleanup, Stewart there. Uh, and you know what? We might even break up the left. We're going to go Everett leading off, too low hitting two. All right. Here we go. Joe Weaver had 13 wins on the year. But Linscombe with 15 wins and a, and a lower ERA. However, Park adjusted, I'm sure uh, Weaver is, is probably better. Okay, here we go. Lead off uh, of the first here, leading it off. Ground out that ends the inning. They're uh, top of the order, of course. Three up, three down. Five, six, seven, three up, three down. Three up, three down for them. So we're in the third. Nothing doing for either team. Biggins infield hit. Beats it out. Now, how's Linskin at holding runners? Pretty decent. So I was going to maybe steal and then bunt. We're just going to bunt, though. Gets it down. Gets him over. Great job, Weaver. Everett rips it deep, and that's out of the park to right field. I don't think it quite had enough to make it into McCovey Cove. But it gives us the lead. Here's Tejada up with two outs, runner on second, fly ball to center. That's the inning. Nothing doing for us, nothing doing for them. We'll trade that all day long here. So it's a foul, but it's an error. Then he grounds out to third. Here's Figgins up, strikes out, and Weaver ground out to second. Runners on first and second for them, nobody out. Oh, and we just drop it in center for an error. Base is loaded now. Infield single. Here's Lintz come up with nobody out. Base is loaded. We turn two. Nice job there. Here's Tejada. Runners on second and third. Ground out to end the inning. Big pitch there by Weaver. Let's get something back. Here's James. Strikes out for the second out. Here's Stewart. Runners on. They make the play in center. So Weaver at 64 pitches. They're at 2-3-4. We're going to let him roll. It's the sixth. Three up, three down. Great job. Three up, three down for us. I guess four up, three down. Five, six, seven. We're going to let him keep rolling here. 
and no one reaching scoring position. Great job, Weaver. Bottom of the eighth. He's at 88. He doesn't have good stamina. He's getting near the red. They're coming up to the to the top of the order. We're going to let him face one guy at a time. Strikes him out. Here's Tejada. Fly ball to right. Center caught. Here's Martinez with two outs. Nobody on. Infield single. 104. That's going to be it. Juan Gonzalez is up. He is 0 for 3. But uh, I, I just don't like this matchup when he's in the red. So we're at our cleanup hitter. We could probably get two innings out of somebody. But I'm going to go with the righty-righty. And then we're going to go with the lefty-lefty. So probably Duvall coming in in the ninth. Um, our best righty is probably Lundberg. He just threw yesterday. Or Bernie, to be honest. We don't need a strikeout. There's two outs. We're going to go with Bernie. Grounder to second. Got him. Great job. Okay, so ninth inning. Nothing doing for us. Here's Griggs, Canerco, and then several more lefties. Uh, Duvall. I guess, you know, Gowers are our closer. They both threw two days ago. We're going Duvall. I wonder how their playoff numbers are, actually. Can I look at that? Pitching stats. Um, can I view? As it maybe splits. Here we go. Postseason. So postseason here, 540 ERA in three innings. Not great. Let's check out Gower. Pitching stats. Postseason. He's uh, much, much better. No runs, two innings. Let's go. Let's go ahead and go with Gower. You know, might be a big, big time guy, clutch guy. We're going with Gower here. Uh, no double switch or anything. Well, you know what? Sosa, Sosa's defense, 55. Sullivan's really good left. Yeah, he is. So we're going to go Sullivan in. Sullivan in to left. And then Gower into the seven hole where Sosa was. They are only down one. So it could happen that we go into extras. Okay, here we go. Nothing doing, so we take that win. Gower with the save, 3-2 lead for us. Outstanding pitching. Jeff Weaver, Joe Weaver getting the win. Good to see there, bouncing back. Penn holding them. So now we come home to try to uh, win it and go to the World Series. We have not made the World Series. We This is the furthest we've made. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure of that. Let's make sure. I'm very, very sure. I guess it doesn't It doesn't say. It says we've made the playoffs, but we've made it twice. Yeah, we didn't make the World Series either of those years. So this is our third time making the playoffs. Um, had a good year last year, just barely missed it. 03, similar type year, made it. I mean, we're, we're on the up and up. I like where we're going. We finally got some money. We got a lot of fan interest, good loyalty. Got some good players. I like where we're at. Let's see if we can finish it now, and then we won't forget how many days we got coming up here. I'm just going to say, remind me in a day. Remind me in one day. All right. And hopefully that's uh, after today. So here we go. We got Justin Miller starting. I like that. He's on fire. I like Musina too, but he can start next game if we don't get this one. Um, they got a righty. How's Sullivan doing in the playoffs? Not very good. Uh, either Phillips or Sosa. Sosa's still doing well. We're gonna keep him in. Now, let I guess I should have put him in the right. He's terrible on left. Put him in the right. James in the left. So he will still hit seventh. That's where he's at. Figgins hitting eighth. They got a righty up. Helton's definitely coming along. That's good to see. Um, let's switch these back. They got a righty. We'll go Chulo, Everett. Um, let's go Stewart, Helton back to clean up, James, Ionetta. Okay, there we go. And uh, what do they have? Hennessy going. 473 ERA, not great. Not great. An 8 and 14 record on the regular season, but it all depends. They throw all that out the winner. Counts on, depends on how you're doing the playoffs. Three up, three down for them. Nothing doing for us. Three up, three down for them. Three up, three down for us. Three up, three down for them in the top of the third. 
Here's Figgins leading off for us. Out. Wanted to go one at bat at a time in case we'd bun him. Um, and Chulo with a solo jack, giving us the lead. Everett now with a double. Stewart ripping it to right. We're going to send him. And he's in there. So a 2 nothing lead here in the third. Three up, three down for them. Figgins up with a runner on second. They walk him to get to the pitcher spot. Miller ground out to third. Three, four, five for them. They got two on, nobody out. And a three-run jack to left field by Josh Hamilton. Man, he only had nine on the year. But uh, that one hurts. So it's the fifth inning. Now they got a triple. We got to take take our guy out here. There's a liner up the middle. Another run. Justin Miller kind of falling apart. There's one out. Runners on first and second. Struck him out. Here's one gone. Bloops it into left for another run. I mean, I think that's got to be it. There's two outs. You can't get out of the inning. We'll go, I, I suppose. I mean, we're at the top of the order, so we can go with somebody good. Let's go Duvall, we can come to Gower later if we need. We're going to go Duvall against Griggs, the lefty. Ground out to short. So, big inning for them. Here's Chulo leading us off. Let's see if we can answer. Two outs, Helton up, grounder to short. Ends the inning. We're going to keep Duvall in. Here's Erickson up with two outs, runner on second, strikes out. James with a leadoff double. Here's Ionetta, rips a base hit to right. That's going to score him, moves up on the throw. Here's Sosa. Base hit into left. So guys on the corners. How's Hennessy? He's not good at holding runners. Sosa can steal a little bit. He's a tying run. We're going to do it. We're going to steal. Good time to steal here. And he's in there. So here's Figgins. Nobody out. Walks. Obviously, we're going to pinch hit now with Duvall up. Um, we got Sullivan. He's been struggling. We got Phillips. Uh, Phillips had a great year. He's a slugger. We're going to go with him. Bases loaded, nobody out. They just brought in Romo for relief. And he smokes it to left. Grand slam, Dan Phillips. Pinch hit, grand slam. So we're up 7-5. And then Stewart adds a two-run jack. 9-5. What an inning. Wow. Okay, so that was the inning. Now, I didn't even look at uh, who we're going to go to, but no one's tired. Duvall is done. We're going to save Gower. They're at 9-1-2. They got righties. Um, we'll go Lundberg. Lundberg or Bernie. We're going to go Lundberg in the seventh here. They pinched it with lefty, but three up, three down. We're at 6-7-8. Uh, I should have gone one at bat at a time. I went to scoring position, and we got to run up first. Lundberg had an at bat. We're going to keep him in, let him face Juan Gon, the righty. He walks him. All right, he's coming out now. We got Griggs, the lefty. Canerco, and then several more lefties. We need six outs still. So I don't know if I yet want to go to Gower. We're going to go to Grenman, the lefty here. He's a big strikeout guy, and he ends the inning. So here's the bottom of the eight, top of the order for us. Everett on second, or was it too low? Too low. There's a ground out. Stewart, here's Helton. Fly out to right. So now uh, lefties, we're going to go Gower, of course. We're up four. No def. Uh, do we do we do a defensive change? We'd have to take Sosa out. That would be the three spot coming up. But we're up four. I'm good doing that. We're gonna take Sosa out. We'll just straight up sub him here. We're gonna Sullivan to left, James to right, and then we're gonna Gower in for the pitching spot. So here we go to move on to the World Series. Ooh, runners on first and second. Nobody out. Fly ball to center, one out. Here's Tejada. Walks him. So now the tying run is up. Victor Martinez strikes him out. Here's Juan gone. Ground out to second. That is it. That'll do it. So Rockies on to the World Series. What an inning in the sixth. Seven-run inning. Wasn't looking good for us after the Giants had a five-run fifth. Now we are going to the World Series. That's going to be its own video. That'll be a separate video. We'll be done for now. Tulo and Stewart with three hits. Sosa for with two hits. Big day by Sosa. He's been great in the playoffs. Good pickup for us. Miller started off great and then that had that bad inning. Still has an outstanding ERA for the playoffs. And then Penn coming in, shutting it down. Great job by the Penn. 
you know what? I'll even show you here before. Well, yeah, I got this comes up right here. So I will move Rollins and we'll be going to the World Series. So thanks for watching. See you next time.